Welcome back, guys. Let's kick off day three. Immediately. I imagine it would be a bit drafty with the uh, broken window. Hey, Henry. Hello, Delilah. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Wait a minute. Why are you asking? Fair question. Because I'm horribly superficial. Hmm. Well, this will be a minor interjecture here. Uh, let us take a brief sneak peek back to episode one where Henry holds his wife's journal and take a gander. <coughs> right. So, my man thinks that this... Dad bod knows like a bell shaggy Neanderthal can compare himself to Burt Reynolds fucking Maverick or hold on oh this is a real per Raleigh Fingers this dude is catfishing do you know Raleigh Fingers he pitched for the A's no well, I'm the spitting image of him that's fair I didn't know who oh, he was either wait is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s <gasps> oh my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. You're gonna be okay. very disappointed. <laughs> okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. that and if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? I'm a racist. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. A good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Well, I have a thin mustache. Real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar. Goes down across my eye and down my cheek. Well, I just happen to have a thing for thin mustaches. The thinner and pervier the better. This is weird. Well then you are in luck. And a horrible scar. <laughs> Just perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. No, you can't do that. Only my Fine. wife draws me. Your eyes. Tell me. Steely, happy, tired. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. This is furry. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that, uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Some interesting books. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, look, there it is. Sandwich. Having a nice afternoon? I am, actually. I might never leave. Well, uh, I call 
with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were dead. reported missing. Oh. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. <clears throat> you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, we want to cooperate. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. I was gonna say, am I supposed to go all the way back to my watchtower? <laughs> that was pretty peaceful, though. Nice and serene. Henry, Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. This is getting weird. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, it's Julia? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Mm, <gasps> I am. It's her wife. It's his, his Are you wife. having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Wow. Wow! 18 days later. Moving right along. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Mm. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. Prunes She'd be great, great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Prunes aren't that big. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. Oh, shit. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? Yeah, actually. Look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's, she's there. Oh my God, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen, I, oh my God, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. <clears throat> let that stew in your brain for a little bit. <sighs> what month did we start on if September is our end date? Huh. Do some post-editing for that. Frames. 
Why does this keep happening? I haven't used this thing yet. A nice little backdrop. <laughs> That's nostalgic. Must be two forks. We go. Nice. Speak for the other lookouts. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Sixty-four. We're flying through these days. seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Whoa. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Oh, that balance. So, no ideas, huh? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Why not? Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. All the more reason. Is this guy just... So there's this creek down the hill. Keep on doing? And, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. She might have a problem. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, yep. no I'm not. <laughs> you should. Oh. Let me know when you are. How did she know? Oh, she's got a... telescope fixed on me. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Fire fetish? Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Good answer. Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Neat. Well, I like you. Oh, no. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... <sighs> I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice yeah. to be near somebody. We could talk about these radios. We could, um... You know... She's already in that bottle. It'd be nice to be close to someone. 
Don't get me wrong. I Why enjoy don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things that's burning away? Damn. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I like a bonfire just as much as the next person, but circumstances are, we're still married. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Sounds right. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the bear going to be my first boss fight? I'll fight him with a fishing pole, just like Gon did in Hunter x Hunter. This. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. This is a transcript. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, Henry did you? Delilah. Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. About friendization. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh god. Oh, oh. Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I holy hell, I just I got hit in the head. Got my ass kicked. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Still messed up. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I mean, it's not like you said anything bad. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Hmm. 
Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. The station is by the north. I did notice something. Uh, one of the books uh, back at the lookout tower was Death Strikes at Two or something like that. And then that book was... Uh, well, whatever it was. I'll, I'll put some pictures up. But that had a number no another number in it. Uh, number four. Maybe there's a connection. Maybe there's a secret achievement for finding all the neat, uh, all the numbered books. Damage tree. I have to chop it down. Oh, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. Well, see what you can do to get past it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Gonna do. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. That's where we need to be. My wreck at ra my wreck at Ralph hands have no effect on this lock. I'll use this. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Or if I have any competence in climbing over a fence. Scout camp. We do have a long way to go, so I might just fast forward through this thing. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Must be nice. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay.
Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. I like what? T tuning in on the frequency? Right there, intercepting our frequency. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... Henry's a genius. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. My frames. Whatever you say, boss. Frames are out of control. Ruby River. What if she's in on it? Oh, dope. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Oh, look, my well, friends are back. it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. He said it. He said the line. Neat. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Hmm. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. This is a boss arena. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Granted, it looks like I'm gonna fight something from Breath of the Wild, but... Boss fight is a boss fight. Three blind rats. Write that down, write that down! something. Fire break, Cottonwood Creek, all the way to the scout camp. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. Oh. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Is this ski? <gasps> it is time. I'm ready for my... Oh. Damn it. Snowmobile. Mm. 
there's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Probably not. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Like a fire watchtower? Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. There it is. Take this, Anakin. How the turntables... That's cool. It's a bunch of hobos. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics. Model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh, wizards and wyverns. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. It's a spin on Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, 10 yeah. 10 to 1, dude, it's another number. That is a cool cover. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Not so funny though. <laughs> hmm. If I was an X, where would I be? Beyond this tarp. Next to all the fallen trees. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. TP and a trowel. I don't think he I knows what I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? Not sure what I was expecting out of this. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? 
station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. Maybe Shelly was an escapee. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. I'm gonna have to break it to Delilah that, um... Me and Shelly go way back. I can't, uh... I can't snitch on the homie. Good champ. Oh, look, the fire. Are you there? Yes. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. I got bars. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Let's say Where we. are you right now? Just... On my way back, in and out of trees, in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Perfect spot for an ambush. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Who's that? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. I thought that was a recording. Um, there isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Day 77. Dun dun dun! Plot thickens. Thicker than pork pond. This is getting good. Oh my god! Put those down! Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the... Oh, 50th time today. Those tidy whities The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. My ring's off my finger. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Oh, achievement. Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? Don't worry, Shelly. You and me are... What? We're gonna make it out of it's here. It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. It's a piece of paper. It's not even laminated. It's that important. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Second from the left. Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. This is code. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. She's not onto us, Shelly. I think we're clean. I had a box turtle once. Named it Shelby. Uh, we were very young. 
let the uh, turtle out in the back, no, front yard. Cl climbed underneath the hedges and made a little burrow. And never saw it again. It was a good turtle. Ate worms like a T-Rex. Whoa, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. The June fire? My first boss fight? I think I'm just combating these frames. Let's see. Cotton wood. Cotton wood. Um, oh, Cottonwood Creek. It's almost the exact same area I have to go back to. Alright, it's a bit of a walk, so I'll just cut to where we get there. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. <laughs> Criminal mastermind, this one. Oh, let's see. Where's this box at? Across the water. Okay. Oh, there it is. Give me all this information for. I thought we were supposed to be covert. <gasps> Ooh. I've got it now. Good. Yes, I spent do. all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger. <sighs> And hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm scared. I'm the only one who's been really targeted. None of it makes any sense. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Spooky. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Ugh. This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. <laughs> So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. I mean, all I really had to do was hop the fence, but no. <laughs> just thought of something not, um, not great. She on to Shelly? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that 
went missing a few weeks back. You were supposed to leave that open. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. We? This is your... Well, it could be your fault. We don't even know what's going on, really. Let's not jump to conclusions. Or, you know, jump to point fingers. gate is just north of me. You know, apart from the whodunit and the conspiracy, this is still a very pretty game. Slightly more lighthearted than a plague tale, um, but no less, maybe a little bit less sinister. We'll see how bad it gets. All right, X. Just make sure no one's hiding in here. Trying to ask this locker question. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <sighs> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Whoa! Ow! Oh, thing. Oh, too late. I got stung by a bee. Okay. You are extremely is, is that it? whiny. <laughs> yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes. Yes. Kind of. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm sorry. Oh, that's funny. <gasps> I never even thought about that. Uh, what if this is linked to um, my wife's? Research. She's a botanist, right? <laughs> what if this is all happening to me because I'm tied to her? And they gave her Alzheimer's. Weaponized Alzheimer's is terrifying, but I don't think that's what happened. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. That would make it difficult. Apparently I can't turn it off. It's in Far Cry 5. I mean, there are all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. It's all fenced off like too. Like what? Oops. Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Now oh, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? What's this thing monitoring? Supplies. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Hmm. I just I 
wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. This stuff's kind of hard to read. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? I see a coffee Seriously, machine. at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Barometer. What? They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Oh, it's an earthquake monitor. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. What are they tracking here? Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... our... people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Department two folks area. Avoidance behaviors. Disproportionate food intake. Are the M's me? Male? Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Hmm. Good ones, maybe? Missing teens? Maybe the good ones? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian yeah, knew. He would have said something. Two, two males. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Yeah, what's this? I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh. Am I gonna have to live with this now? Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Mmm. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? What? No. I'm not sticking not around to get hooked up to it. Want more greens, okay. okay it's not tracking in this stuff. No. Must be in this tent then. Equipment? Supplies? Not supplies. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Smoke detector? This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. But I need to find out what the heck this thing's after. There's nothing out here. It's a nice tent. It's kind of like a carport. Alright, let's get in there. 
find out what this thing might be after. Clear away mess. Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Black box. Dig through it. Henry M. Delilah A. Something. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? You have a boyfriend, Javier? What the fuck? Wish you hadn't left that out? I don't! I, I didn't! This is insane! I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down! Think about it! Delilah. What? Think about it! I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked! Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah. Or ourselves? Maybe. Oh my god, Delilah, no. No way. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! Look, it's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. What if it was just to find, like, some trapped bear? I saw the thick collar. Come on, the day's progressing. It's nighttime. Nice. There's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. <laughs> 